Adjust your mic. When I see photos other people take of me, I can't help but feel like I am looking at myself from above. I can't help but think that is not my body. Those are not my overflowing thighs. Those are not my knees as wide as a colorless horizon in that. That is certainly not my stomach, unraveling over the waistline of a pair of shorts. A doctor I didn't know very well once asked me if I'd always been like this. I wanted to tell her, bodies are such strange things. I wanted to tell her it amazes me that when I first began taking up space on this earth, I only weighed six pounds and 14 ounces. It amazes me that swallowing a five milligram pill once a day since age 14 made me like this. I wanted to tell her I had not always been like this once. I was one of the smallest kids in my class. Once, I had a metabolism faster than the winter solstice. I didn't always overflow and unravel. I could fit into the role of conventionally beautiful without breaking the zipper. I was not always like this and when I feel like I need to. I compare my body to the sky because it's one of the few parts of nature I can relate to. The sky is fat. The sky wears the universe around her as if it's a size 16 gown, a size 18, a size 20, or a size 22. The sky does not determine her worth by a number. The sky is proud of herself, no matter what. When I look back, I wonder if I should have told that doctor, maybe I am disconnecting from the reality of myself, but at least I am closer to happiness than I've ever been. I should have told her, fat is not a bad word, and I can't think of myself as overflowing anymore. I'm not a kitchen sink. I'm not a small town in the middle of a hurricane. I am a body. I am a happy body. I am somebody. I am somebody who is looking at herself from the ground level again and loving every inch of it. I am a body in this. This is my body. Let's go.